Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard. Today we're gonna take a look at the M4Q from Toolkit RC. This is a 4-in-1 battery charger and this is the XT30 variant. So let's check this out. Let's open the box and I already opened it of course. So we get foam, the charger itself and then super easy unboxing. There is not much in here. There is the AC cord so you can plug it into the wall and then there is a micro USB cable for updating the firmware and that's it <laughs> we have the charger itself right here and as you can see it has four outputs you can choose between XT30 and XT60 and it's maximum 4S and that's why I chose XT30 because I have all 4S XT30 batteries and also this charger is not super powerful in fact you have two inputs you can go AC maximum 100 watts or you can go DC maximum 200 watts but everybody who's gonna get this is gonna go for the AC capability because they give you also the cable right here so it's much much better 100 and 100 watts means you can charge 25 watts per battery or two batteries 50 watts so it's not that much it's not too little you can charge regular 5 inch batteries but at 1C but nothing more but if you're using micro batteries like 150 milliamps you can charge them at 2 or 3C no problem and this can charge 4 of them at the same time so it's very very nice for traveling because you can stick in your backpack and charge 4 batteries at a time and I'm super excited about this charger because I'm already loving the smaller brother right here the M6D and I've been using it every day since I made the review a year ago you can check it out and this is super powerful, you, it has two XC6s and 6s maximum and you can charge 250 watts, 250 watts and if you join them together 500 watts but of course it doesn't have AC, you can only use DC and also it has a super nifty USB out and you can charge your radio, your goggles, it's nifty but I mean this one doesn't have it, still I'm gonna buy a multiple USB charger, the small ones, and, and be done with it. And now I'm gonna tell you why this one is gonna be better than this one, in my use case at least, because I don't use success batteries that much. I, this is the maximum I use, basically 650 milliamps. One day I'm gonna be using 850s. I also use 450 4S batteries, all 4S, because I use sub 250 grams drones and I don't need bigger batteries so this one is kind of wasted on me success I don't use it this super power I don't use it and also look at this by the time I have to carry this look I have to carry these two <laughs> adapters for XC30 and then I have to carry the brick and this is a hundred watts brick so it's not even more powerful than the other one and I need to do this and you can see this kind of adds up to these sides you can see so this occupies the same backpack size as this one but here I can charge two batteries and here I can charge four and that's why I think I'm gonna be sticking this into my backpack super easy super super small cord you can fit it everywhere it's flexible and you are done and I can charge four batteries and I know my use case is super niche but this charger is the best for micro pilots for anybody else I hope one day they make a 6s version maybe a bit more powerful a USB out and it will be perfect for everybody but right now Let's check the menus and I'll show you one feature that I love about this Toolkit RC chargers and it makes it so easy to charge. Let's go. And right here I got a bunch of batteries that need charging from yesterday and I know I can charge four of them at a time and it's crazy. First of all, let's turn on the charger, let's put the cable in, boom. Makes a nice noise and I put the black theme on, I'm gonna show you the options. And you have four channels as you can see and you can change channel using this button and a very nice feature is as soon as you plug in the battery it's gonna read the voltage of every cell the total voltage 
and also once you start charging it's gonna also read the internal resistance so you can know how good your cells are that's very nice but first of all let's check the menu so long press the wheel and you get all the options right here so and here we have the first option input settings here you can create a profile for your inputs ac is already selected and you have 100 watts if you use dc maybe you use a battery you don't want to drain it you can create a profile that doesn't go below like 16 volts so you don't drain your batteries while charging this is very nice then we have security settings and like it's max temperature you can reach max charging time and safe capacity i don't know what this is actually continuous work is the best option ever these chargers that have this i love it basically you select like 650 milliamps you charge them and then they are ready you unplug it you put a new one in and it already starts charging you don't have to press any button this is the best option because it makes it so fast to charge many batteries of the same kind very nice then you can select what what to do on uh, work end like end the charge or trickle charge it so it will keep pushing it a bit i put it on end then you can select profiles for batteries you can select the backlight the buzzer strength okay you can you can select the buzzer noise the language and the style as you can see i like dark then you can put everything at default and you have the id and that's all for this then let's start charging the batteries boom we have all four batteries in and now let's charge them you need to press this will once not long once like this and then here you have the profiles so i charge these 650 batteries at 1.2 amps because i want to hurry it up so i only have this profile right now and i'm gonna click on it and i have already all the options set so battery type lipo and here you can select between lipo lithium hv lithium iron lithium ion <laughs> nickel metal hydride and the um, lead batteries like the car i don't know everybody's gonna use this one i guess then it already detects the, ch the cells so you don't have to do anything like you have 3s and 4s it already detects them so no problem mode you can charge or storage there is no balanced charge there is no fast charge but it's it's pretty nice as it is i don't need anything else it already balances them at the end of the charge so i mean I've, I've used these chargers for a year now and i don't see any issue then you can select the end voltage you can put it at 4.21 so you are super sure your cells are full but i don't care and then your charge current and then after you selected all of this you can see the batteries down here and you can select channel one and two and three and four so you selected all of them and you can do start and this is nice because if you have only two batteries you select one and two and you charge one and two and then maybe here you want to charge different batteries and you can select three and four to charge different but i like this because i have all of the same batteries let's charge it confirms boom and boom it started charging and in a moment it, it should get the reading for the um for the battery resistance for the cell resistance okay yeah 13 ohms micro ohms very nice my batteries are new so as you can see they are all fine and as you can see charging four channels at 1.2 amps takes 20 74 watts and we are not far from the 100 watts limit on ac if you pl plug it in into dc is gonna be 200 so 50 watts per battery but it's not bad for these batteries because it's 2c and it's quite fast charge if you have regular 5 inch 4s batteries like um, 1.5 amps it's gonna charge them at 1c still it's not slow it's not fast 
as I told you, in my opinion, this is great if you have micro drones and you can charge stuff fast. And still, it's fire and forget. Put in your batteries and you know when you're gonna return in 15 minutes, they're gonna be charged. So that's super, super, super useful. And that's all for today. I already put my new charger inside my very small backpack and as you can see, it doesn't take much space at all. And I love it. As always, you can check the description, you will find the link to buy this, you will support this channel and you will find a discount so you can get it at the best price. And as always, stay safe and happy flying. Bye!